text-to-voice synthesis provided by Vidnami. Open letter to Pope Francis, Call to Liquidate. January 8, 2021 by Anna Von Reitz. The 8th of January 2021. Most beloved Francis, there are three three realms of law impacted by the current crisis, ecclesiastical law, municipal law, and international law. The offending corporations have committed crimes in all three realms and are subject to liquidation in all three instances. Under ecclesiastical law, corporations are allowed to exist, for any lawful purpose. You are not a lawyer, so it may bear discussion that although what these corporations have done is considered, legal, their actions are not considered, lawful. They have skated around the requirements of codes, regulations and statutes, but their actions, both in intent and execution, have fallen far short of being lawful. These corporations have willfully conspired to topple governments, to slander and rob innocent people, to deceive and to physically and materially harm the living population of this planet. These are not lawful actions and are not in accord with any godly purpose, so by the very basis of ecclesiastical law which allows for the existence of corporations, these corporations are acting as outlaws and they must be dissolved. Second, under municipal law, these corporations have been found engaged in massive fraud against their customers and service clients. As you are well aware, once fraud is discovered and demonstrated under municipal law, it vitiates everything, even the most sacred agreements, that fraud has tainted. All laws and contracts, all treaties and trusts and offices, created under conditions of fraud are null and void. In the United States, the great fraud began in 1860 with the election of Abraham Lincoln, who was eligible to act as President of the Territorial United States of America, but ineligible owing to the titles of nobility amendment to function as President of our Federal Republic. Every piece of legislation passed by every Congress since then has contained an excusatory declaration as part of the enabling clause, clearly saying that the new legislation does not in any way affect any right thus previously established. We are the inheritors of those rights thus previously established. As the offending municipal corporations have all been formed under conditions of fraud and deceit, and as they have been allowed to proliferate far outside the boundaries of the District of Columbia, they all need to be collapsed and liquidated and those persons responsible denied any further privilege to incorporate anything again. We have brought this circumstance to your attention before without reply, but as the entire world can see, we are justified both under ecclesiastical law and municipal law. Finally, there remains the international law, which has also been grievously offended. At the level of treaties, covenants, and agreements among nations, we have the offenses of these corporations which have trespassed and transgressed against both the Hague Conventions and the Geneva Conventions and also against multiple United Nations declarations. These corporations are currently involved in a scheme to undermine and redefine humanity and are attempting to inject patented mRNA via a vaccination program in order to create a basis to claim that living people are genetically modified organisms, subject to their ownership under patent claims. This is just the latest in a progression of schemes since 1700 to create ownership claims on living flesh in contravention of international law that the Holy See is party to, forbidding the practices of slavery and peonage, latching, impersonation, personage in general, baratry, inland piracy, unlawful conversion, racketeering, profiteering, privateering, press ganging, inland piracy, breach of trust, and more. Perhaps it has slipped the Vatican's notice, but both slavery and peonage have been outlawed worldwide since 1926, and there can be no excuse offered by claiming that they are enslaving corporations or other legal fictions, when the purpose and the effect is to latch onto lawful persons owed the utmost care by the Holy See, the British monarch, and the Crown. Thus the offending municipal and territorial corporations are owed immediate and irrevocable liquidation and their boards of directors and officers are owed immediate punishment including loss of their privilege to incorporate any new business structures. This loathsome plan to subvert nature and nature's God for profit in service to mammon must be stopped and the means to perpetuate these crimes via the patent offices must be stopped. Toward that end, we are requesting the immediate liquidation of the following corporations and the distribution of their functions and assets to service providers of our choosing.
all municipal incorporated renditions, franchises, and subsidiaries incorporated by or into or otherwise owned or operated directly or indirectly by the UN Corp., including but not limited to all similar renditions, franchises, and subsidiaries of the U.S. Corp. and USA Corp., their secondaries, assigns, and trustees. This will include return of the control of the United States Patent and Trademark Office to our control and review of all patents subject to public law. All territorial and international corporations engaged in providing governmental services in the United States need to be liquidated, except the actual national defense functions which are to remain under the direction of Donald Trump and any other successors we may agree to, and those territorial departments and agencies needed to provide essential public services, which are also to remain under Donald Trump's administration for now, subject to our oversight. All essential functions that these corporations have performed need to be returned to land and soil jurisdiction immediately and placed under the public law worldwide. We regret that these actions are necessary and are aware of the disruption this will cause, however, there is no avoiding the law and the consequences of such massive worldwide fraud and criminality on the part of corporations, their officers, and boards of directors. For immediate action, Alphabet, Inc. Alphabet, Inc. Circo, Inc. Circo, Inc. United Kingdom, Inc. United Kingdom, Inc. UN, Inc. UN, Inc. World Bank, Inc. World Bank, Inc. World Health Organization, Inc. World Health Organization, Inc. National Health Institutes, Inc. National Health Institutes, Inc. Centers for Disease Control, Inc. Centers for Disease Control, Inc. PIRBRIGHT Institute, Inc. Perbright Institute, Inc. Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Inc. Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Inc. The Clinton Foundation, Inc. The Clinton Foundation, Inc. Clinton Foundation, Inc. Clinton Foundation, Inc. Vanguard, Inc. Vanguard, Inc. Welcome Trust, Inc. Welcome Trust, Inc. Wells Fargo, Inc. Wells Fargo, Inc. GlaxoSmithKline, Inc. GlaxoSmithKline, Inc. Bear, Inc. Bear, Inc. Pfizer, Inc. Pfizer, Inc. Monsanto, Inc. Monsanto, Inc. BlackRock, Inc. BlackRock, Inc. Central Intelligence Agency, Inc. Central Intelligence Agency, Inc. Government of the United States, Inc. Government of the United States, Inc. Federal Bureau of Investigations, Inc. Federal Bureau of Investigations, Inc. United States Patent and Trademark Office, Inc. United States Patent and Trademark Office, Inc. American Corporations Company, Inc. American Corporations Company, Inc. The Pilgrim Society, Inc. The Pilgrim Society, Inc. The United States Congress, Inc. The United States Congress, Inc. The Congress of the United States, Inc. The Congress of the United States, Inc. The United States in Congress Assembled, Inc. The United States in Congress Assembled, Inc. E Pluribus Unum The United States of America, Inc. E Pluribus Unum The United States of America, Inc. United States of America, Inc. United States of America, Inc. The United States of America, Inc. The United States of America, Inc. United Nations, Inc. United Nations, Inc. The United Nations, Inc. The United Nations, Inc. The United States, Inc. The United States, Inc. U.S., Inc. U.S., Inc. United States Bar Association, Inc. United States Bar Association, Inc. American Bar Association, Inc. American Bar Association, Inc. All, National, Franchises DBA Canada, Mexico, China, etc. Canada, Inc., Mexico, Inc., China, Inc. etc. All, State, Franchises DBA County Kildare, Kildare County Washington, Ohio, etc. County Kildare, Inc., Kildare County, Inc., Washington, Inc., Ohio, Inc. All, State of State, Franchises DBA State of Indiana, State of Illinois, etc., State of Indiana, Inc., State of Illinois, Inc., etc. All State Trusts DBA Alaska State, Inc., Ohio State, Inc., Florida State, Inc., etc., Alaska State, Inc., Ohio State, Inc., etc. 
Department of Health and Social Services, Inc. Department of Health and Social Services, Inc. Federal Emergency Management Administration, Inc. Federal Emergency Management Administration, Inc. Department of Justice, Inc. Department of Justice, Inc. Internal Revenue Service, Inc. Internal Revenue Service, Inc. IRS, Inc. IRS, Inc. The Internal Revenue Service, Inc. The Internal Revenue Service, Inc. Department of Defense, Inc. Department of Defense, Inc. The Department of Defense, Inc. The Department of Defense, Inc. DOD, Inc. DOD, Inc. Bureau of Alcohol Tobacco and Firearms, Inc. Bureau of Alcohol Tobacco and Firearms, Inc. BATF, Inc. BATF, Inc. Moderna, Inc. Moderna, Inc. These and many other incorporated entities need to be liquidated and their assets returned to the control and oversight of the people they rightfully belong to, that is, the actual states and nations, and they all need to be placed under the public law without further acrimony or obfuscation about the inroads that Satan has accomplished via secrecy, deceit, unlawful conversion, and self-interest both within and outside the Church and the Holy See proper. We believe that these offending corporations at a minimum need to be liquidated to stabilize the situation and return us all to the realm of nature and nature's God, public law, and factual analysis. Foreign real estate claims, establishment of foreign trusts in the name of Americans, derivatives of these foregoing trusts, use of foreign land descriptions, foreign surveys, titles of all kinds, foreign benchmarks, foreign languages, foreign weights and measures, foreign laws being misapplied to Americans, foreign citizenship obligations and offices of personhood being conferred on Americans, improper assumptions and presumptions, illegal registrations, registration of lawful persons via any unilateral, undisclosed, unconscionable, inequitable, implied, presumed, or implanted process, must cease. Most sincerely, Anna Maria Riesinger, Fiduciary the United States of America, Our Federation of States.